Hello friend, welcome back to Auto Resource YouTube channel. I've got here today 2006 Honda Ridge Line and it needs bunch of service. So let's go in this video with the automatic transmission fluid change. I just driven this car that means the fluid it's really hot and it will nicely drain out of the transmission. And I will start this whole procedure by loosening the filler bolt which is here in the engine bay. I will put this extension there and I will show you where it is. But let me just crack it open first, okay? Let's see. Okay. Now I will show you where exactly it is located. It's right here. This is extension you can see and it's going down there. As I said, was a socket number 17. Now I know that I was able to crack open, loosen that filler bolt and I can go underneath the car and drain the transmission. There's plenty of space underneath the front of the car to get down there and perform the service. I just raised it a little bit for myself to be able to get there easily with the camera. And I will use this small 3 8 breaker bar to release the draining bolt. And this is the location of the bolt. I put a light here for you so you guys can nicely see where it is and all you do you don't need any wrench. Alright let me grab it differently. You just put that breaker bar inside of the bolt and you will release it turning it counterclockwise. After loosening it I have ready here my catching pan right and I removing that bolt also including the crash washer which is underneath it which I will be replacing later. Alright, let's go. This fluid is not bad because this transmission is being maintained properly so it's not very dirty. Properly meaning you don't let it get really nasty and dirty. You just do it in the short intervals and uh, you prevent basically any damage of the automatic transmission. I will also show you the magnet. There is minimum residue on it. And you can hear that transmission fluid nicely dripping. And I promised you to show you the magnet. Normally, if you don't do it very often, there will be a lot of fine residue on this magnet. But look, this is all I'm getting because I believe this was done approximately only like 35,000 miles ago and again because the transmission or the whole vehicle has like a 160,000 miles it's better do it sooner or later. Here you can see the clean magnet this is the crusher washer I was talking about I bought the new ones in Honda original so I will be replacing that. Now important information for everybody who wants to do it by themselves if you look in your owner's manual which you will have in the glove box it will say that you need to use Honda ATF slash Z1 automatic transmission fluid. Well don't get confused or discourage. This is a ATF DW1 and it's just because Honda doesn't make anymore that Z1 and this is basically the future product or the better product which replaced that Z1 so this is what goes inside. If you read the manual it actually tells you that you need 3.3 .3 quarts unfortunately then you have to buy four and also, little note, I will highly recommend everybody to stick with the original Honda Fluid, despite the fact it's kind of overpriced, right? The dealership is asking arm and leg for it, but this is very expensive part of the vehicle, the automatic transmission, so I will never, personally I will never try to use some 
cheaper fluids which somebody might say they are compatible but risking risking possible damage to automatic transmission and when it will stop dripping finally let's say after 20 minutes I will be ready to install this bolt back with the clean magnet and brand new crusher washer and I will be tightening that bolt with that crusher washer with 33 foot-pounds of torque which is 44.7 newton meters let's go you heard it of course I will clean everything super nice and I'm done here let me show you the fluid here you can see the quality of the fluid which I got out I will believe that people work on cars very often they will definitely agree this is the one of the cleaner ones so I believe this was done in the right time now I will continue working up here so as you know we just release that bolt and the washer now I need to remove it all right so sorry for getting in your way maybe I grabbed the bolt and the washer and this is what you will find out right it's clean there's no magnet on this one because it's just a filler and here you need a really long funnel to make sure it fits all the way down there Obviously, as you can buy any store, I will double, triple check that I have it nicely all the way in that filler hole and I'm ready to start filling the transmission with the new fluid, right? So we know it needs a 3.3 quart, so I will start pouring slowly, you don't rush this, slowly start with the first quart and why slowly well the reason is you want to give the fluid time to get inside of the transmission you don't want to start having the spill and difficult cleanup later now we said that this tranny needs 3.3 quarts right so this is the third one number three and when I will pour this one in, I will actually stop pouring and I will do my first measurement, which means I need to locate automatic transmission dipstick. This is the engine one, and here you can see in the yellow color, color it's an automatic transmission fluid dipstick. So I'll be pulling this out. I will pull that out, wipe it off immediately, check it's nicely and dry and I will put it in to get the first measure and I can see that the fluid I'm not sure if you can see it but the fluid is slightly below the low mark and top mark so I'm definitely safe to add that 0.3 of quartz and of course you again has to be absolutely clear that the vehicle is on the level surface otherwise the measure measurement will be not correct and I really uh, took care and I just added 0.3 of the quart so let's go and see how it changed again we'll remove the dipstick right it's clean and uh, I will insert it inside of the lipstick tube and you put it all the way now uh, this Honda vehicle what is a little bit unusual from the most of cars you measure this level when the engine is not running so that's well, I will say it's a, one of the differences uh, if you look with me it's basically right below the top little window which is here in the dipstick so I'm perfect I will remove my funnel right again catching any possible spills I'm ready to install that filler plug with the new crusher I will put it there by the hand 
It's a little bit difficult to reach there. Some people recommend to remove this air hose here. I don't bother with it because I can manage. Oh yeah, I caught the thread nicely. So I will tighten it by the hand. Now I have my extension right with that 17 millimeter ready. Now I'm ready to bring my torque wrench and tighten it again to the 33 foot-pounds or 44.7 newton meters and I removed all my tools from here right everything is gone I have nothing underneath the truck so I'm ready to go and start up the and engine I will put the parking brake on right for the safety step on the brake pedal anyway start up the engine and I'm ready basically to put the transmission through all the gears right nicely there's no rush and I just go through every single gear that the transmission fluid can nice and evenly spread through entire system after that I'm ready to go for a test drive make that fluid hot again right to bringing up to the operating temperature and do my very final measurement on the leveled ground with that dipstick reminder the engine is shut off now this video was about automatic transmission fluid replacement i know there are some people who will say oh there's a remaining fluid in the lines and cooler and ah, you didn't do it right and oh well, no yeah so for those it was fluid replacement it wasn't automatic transmission fluid flush that will need to continue this procedure and that is part of different video so i really hope you find this video helpful you can find some information which you might not be aware of and gives you idea how certain technicians perform the service Please stay tuned and make sure you are subscribed. I have way more videos coming your way on this channel. As I mentioned, I have a bunch of more service on this track, so definitely stay tuned. Thanks for watching today and have a wonderful day.